What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're doing something absolutely crazy. We're opening up Hot Wheels RLC cars. I paid for these all myself, and it's no fun keeping them in the package, so let's go ahead and open them. And let's start it off with the Honda S2000. And this is the shout out to Ryu Osada that passed away, unfortunately, but they do have this car in his honor, and we are going to take it out in his honor from the packaging. If you're keeping track of numbers, you can see the numbering on this one. This is a high number for this one out of 30,000 cars, but don't really care about that because we are just going to open this one up completely right here. Not gonna care about the packaging. I'm sorry, Ryu. We'll try not to damage Ryu, actually. We'll, we'll be a little bit careful. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna rip it from the back. And there we go. We'll take it right out. It's amazing how difficult it is to get these out of the package. These are obviously not really made to open up, but you know what? We are opening them all today. And there we have that shiny gold. Looks so, so good. I absolutely love the color on here. We have that matte roof on there as well. These wheels look fantastic. And look at the rear end with that dual exhaust. There is that big spoiler on there. You can see that wide body look of this one. Very, very nice. I absolutely love the S2000. I'm not a big Honda fan in real life, but this car, they've just done so well. And next we go back to a box one. We've got the Lamborghini Countach LP500S. This could possibly be my favorite Hot Wheels car of all time. We'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging right here. And I don't know if this is a numbered one or anything like that. I don't see it numbered or anything, but we've got the blue one. I love blue, yellow and blue, my two favorite colors. Blue on a Lamborghini Countach. Look at that. The doors opening on them as well. And if you guys see in the back right here, you can see I have opened up a red one before, but now we've got the blue. I think the blue one is significantly better. So let's go ahead and pop this top off right here. First, for some reason, this top just does not want to come off. So we're gonna unscrew the car and then just take it right out. And there we go. We've got the car unhitched from the casing right here. And there it is. This blue is amazing. This has gotta be the best blue I've ever seen on a Hot Wheels car. Just look at that. It's just like chrome blue, super, super shiny. And of course, the big fantastic thing about this car is the actual Lamborghini scissor doors right there. And you can see they do stay up by themselves. So if you wanna display it, like I have displayed my red one back there, and we're gonna be putting this one on the wall for sure. And you can just see with those doors open. And it does have the white and blue interior as well on this. Love these wheels. I think these wheels look so good on the Countach right there. You can see the back end detail on that. You can see all that chrome on here. Wow, this is, I am almost speechless how amazing this car is. I cannot believe I have it in hand. Cannot believe we have it opened up and we're gonna have it as a permanent display in the background of all of my future videos. But what an amazing Hot Wheels RLC car. If you have not gotten one before, you have to get this Lamborghini. It is so nice. And just when you think we're done with the Lamborghinis, we are not. We've got another Countach in another color. Which color do you think this one is going to be? Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We can get a nice look at what color this one is. We can see that hint of green right there. So I think you guys know which color this one's gonna be. We've got the green one to go with our blue one and our red one. There is our green one right there. Let's see if this top, that one does pop off nicely. So we'll go ahead and pop that off, put that aside, and let's just go ahead and take it right off of its casing right away. And there we have it fully freed, the green chrome you can see on this one. Now green's not really my favorite color. I know a lot of people it might be, but the green, Definitely looks good. Although they left the rear spoiler in a matte black. I would have liked to see that all green, but it does have like the kind of the matte black finishing on the 
wheel arches as well. Eh, it's not the best. I mean, the red one, the blue one, in my opinion, are better. The green one, I mean, these wheels look so good though. This one definitely looks more aggressive because it's got kind of the raw look of that black right there. We can see on the rear end, obviously they're real riders on here. Let's do a quick comparison of the blue one that we opened up. And there they are with the scissor doors fully open. You guys comment down below, which color do you think is better? I mean, you know me, I go with the blue, but the green, it's a little bit more raw, a little bit more aggressive, still looks really, really good. Or do you like the red one that's in the back? The red one that you can see right there with the doors open. I think the wheels on these ones are significantly better than the red ones. I, I just, this blue one, just so good. The green, good too. But what do you guys think? One of the best castings I have ever seen from Hot Wheels, the Lamborghini Countach with the scissor doors. It's the Hot Wheels RLC Golf Datsun 510. Let's go ahead and unbox this. So we have it in this really nice packaging right here. You can see the Golf logo and all that. And let's go ahead and wow, look at that Datsun right there, the 510 in the Golf livery. And we're not just keeping them in the package, we're actually going to open it completely up, unscrew it, and let's have a look. And there it is, completely off its little showcase display right there. So we do have the really nice real rotter wheel and tire combination, of course. We have the metal base on there, which looks so, so good. And this one does have that opening hood right here. So let's go ahead and take these little plastic pieces right off right there. That's protecting the hood. And that hood just opens up completely and we can see the inside detail of that engine. That is so, so cool. We do have that golf livery on the side of it. I love the golf livery look. We even got the roll bar on the inside. That's great, great detail. From the back end, you can see all the details for the rear light tampos and everything like that. I don't think anything opens up on the rear, anything like that. But nonetheless, what a fantastic looking RLC car. The Volkswagen Drag Bus RLC with the number six on the side. Let's go ahead and take it out of its protecto right here. And we can look right on the back and see, this one is numbered at all. This one is, and that one is 11,018 out of 13,775. So we're just gonna Go ahead and open this one as well, because you know what? It's best to free them. And there we go. We got the drag bus out of packaging. And the first thing you notice is just how much heavier this casting is compared to other Hot Wheels castings. You can see this one's in a very, very clean red chrome. And then the unique thing about this one is that right there, the opening of it look at the body just open fully up you can see those big fat rear drag tires there's that big exhaust that comes out there's that chrome engine on the inside and i love these wheels these are these like old style Krager mags on here and we've got the the red line trim on the tires on them but just just look at that isn't that not so cool that a hot wheels can do that these drag buses are becoming more and more popular more and more valuable but Man, they are so cool. It just it just feels so nice to, to just open that up. I just think that's very, very neat. You can see that nice big spoiler on there, even like the rivets on here. It's just such great, great detail. There it is from that front end. The VW Drag Bus, I've always wanted to open up an RLC VW Drag Bus, and this is, this is it right here. You can see just how they've done that casting from the back right there. We'll be definitely displaying this one on our wall. Hot Wheels Elite 64 1996 Toyota Chaser JZX 100. Not sure exactly what the numbering means, but this is part of our Elite 64, kind of part of the Hot Wheels RLC club right there. So you can see it's got the Hot Wheels collectors right there. Let's go ahead and open this one. This one also comes in the official Hot Wheels Protecto pack. We'll take it just right out right there. And there it is. Let's go ahead and pop it on open. And here we have got it. Look at the colored 
wheels on there. That is super, super neat. I didn't actually notice that kind of when it was in the packaging right there, but it definitely looks good. Significantly lighter than our drag bus that we just opened up, obviously. Uh, we got the white on there, the base. Ooh, look at the exhaust detail on the base. That is very neat. And they are, I believe they are real riders. Yeah, they're real rider tires, wheels on there. You can even see the, the inside of the wheel painted blue right there. That's pretty neat. The detail on the back end, you can see the lights, the lip spoiler, the inside, we've got the roll cage and kit and all that in the front end, you can see that as well. Pretty neat detail. I like these Elite 64 cars are coming out with. There's some, there's another one that I've got will open up in this video as well, but just great, great detail. Very, very nice looking on this one. Nice little JDM car. Hot Wheels Dodge Tradesman van. I've been really looking forward to opening this one up because it's got so many opening parts on it and it's got just great, great details. So this one is gonna be super fun. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And what funky packaging we have on that one. Just look at the colors on that. That looks so, so good. We'll pop it on open and there we can see it resting on the inside. We're not gonna show you too much. Let's just go ahead and open this right away. You can see the numbering. Ooh, this is a low number. 149 out of 30,000. That is interesting. So we do definitely have a low serial number, but I don't care about the value of the serial number. Let's just pop it on open. And there we go. Looks like our van is free. We'll just pull it right out as all the pieces fall to the ground. And just look at the color on that. Wow. Love the color. Love, look, look at the, even the top detail on that. That is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and see our opening parts on here. We have the, the rear hatch that opens up. So that is pretty cool. And then we do have our side that opens up somehow. I gotta somehow reach in here and just pull it open with my nail here. I don't think there's an easy way to do it. Here, we'll just kinda slap it. There we go. Perfect. So we have it opening up rear doors, side doors, the nice white walled wheel tire combination. Look at that inside it's it's just kind of i don't know it's kind of a creeper van it's kind of crazy i i just i don't know what to say but i just think the opening parts on there are very cool the color just shimmers in my light looks so so good we can see that nice silver base on there and there we have the dodge dodge trades van what do you guys think of this one dual opening doors let's go ahead and just close those doors right up. I don't know if there's a particular way that they go or if they just go both ways, but nonetheless, Dodge Tradesman van. Been so looking forward to opening up this one. I love the color of it. I think the doors are a cool touch. This is definitely be a good one for display. 1990 Chevy 454 SS right here. And we'll look on the back. We don't see any numbering on this one at all. So it's an unnumbered RLC car. We'll take it out of our official RLC Protecto, which we'll, we'll be using those for some other cars. And let's go ahead and open this one up. This one definitely opened up a lot easier than the other packaging right there. This one is just very, very clean. You can see the 454 SS just written on the back right there. The wheels suit it. I like, I love that, how they have the, the tire lettering on there. I love cars with the tire lettering. Does this back hatch open? It does. There we go. So we have that nice back hatch. We have Chevrolet written on the back with the Chevrolet logo right there. Nice detail for the lights right there. The front end, I love the cowl hood on this one, the front right there. And you can see the, the front end for that grill and all that. Real rider wheel, tire combination. We got the gloss black base on this one as well. This one is quite valuable. A lot of people selling these ones for a lot more. I paid a lot more for this one, but I just think the black and the red trim, and we can even see that, that red interior on there. I mean, this is the Redline Club colors right here. So it's kind of the ode to that lick right there, but what do you guys think of the 454 SS? Hot Wheels 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track. This is another one I've been super looking forward to opening up. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. You can see this one comes in this really big box right here. You can see the Hot Wheels Ford Bronco Wild Track on there. And this one, 
I guess it slides right out. Wow, look at the packaging and display for this one. I would assume you use that to pull that right out. And then this one, it looks like you do have the option to put the doors on or off. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Let's pull out our Bronco first and we'll see it just right there without the doors on. You can see that nice blue paint job on there. You can see just that roof line and all. Do I think we get a roof too? I'm not really sure. We'll have to open everything up in there. You can see that spare wheel tire combination on the back. There is your front end with the Bronco written on there. Does our front hood open at all? Uh, no, it doesn't look like the front hood opens on this one. But let's go ahead and look inside of here. There is our roof. So let's go ahead and put our roof on right away here so we can just have that little plastic black roof on there that snaps on there. And does it snap on here? I believe it does. There we go, snaps right on nicely. And we'll go ahead and grab the doors. And on the bottom of the box, it tells me, snap on to pin, open to remove. So it looks like they snap right in. So we're gonna go ahead and just grab it right here. And it looks like this will just snap right in. And there we go. So that one snaps right on. And we'll grab the other one here. And then that one should just push right on. I think that's it. There we go. So that opens just like that. They're not like super strong when they're on there, I would have to say. Let's see this one. So let's go ahead and remove this one. So if we open it, I think we can just pull it and it just removes right there. If we keep it open, we can snap it right back in. There we go. So not too bad, not the strongest of doors. I, I would have wouldn't have mind just seeing them on there, but I think it is a cool touch that you can take them off. You can see the store just flipping open and closed right there. We can see that nice one with the roof on it now. You can see how it looks. Pretty cool, I like it. I like the idea of it. I like the idea that they like remove the pieces and stuff like that, because if you're going off-road in a Bronco, how cool is it that you can remove the, the door? So let's go ahead and remove that door. Remove that door, and then we'll take the roof back off. There we go. Now we've got our Bronco Wild Track all naked with everything removed. Pretty neat Hot Wheels RLC. Hot Wheels Elite 64 Mercedes Benz 300 SL. And we'll take this one out of our Protecto pack right away right here. I'll throw that aside and we can see the car with the collector's box right there. Look at all the detail they have listed on the back of these Elite 64. So that's pretty crazy. There's the car itself. Let's just go ahead and open it. And there it is. Check it out. We've got this kind of like grayish green color. We have nice details on that front end and the side, but the big thing about this car. We all know the best thing about the Mercedes 300 SL is the gullwing doors. Check that out. The working real gullwing doors on this car looks so, so good. If we actually look right in the back right there, you can see the chrome variation that I got of the RLC, the very first one that they came up with. But this one with these 417 on there, I think it looks really cool. It looks very race inspired. And the details on this one, just so, so good. Uh, we do have the real rider wheel tire combination and it is like the classic one. So we've got like almost skinny tires on there. You can see that, that's pretty, pretty neat, but absolutely love it with the gullwing doors. And just, they've just done this one so well. I just really, really like this casting. I love how we have this one as a main line. We have it as a premium and we have it as an RLC. So we get, the best of everything for such an amazing casting, but the RLC one's the only one with those opening gullwing doors. And our biggest box is the Hot Wheels 1952 Dodge Power Wagon. And this one, I think it comes in a pretty big display. So let's go ahead and pop this one open and see what it's all about. So we can see it in this great display packaging right here, Dodge Power Wagon went on the side. You can see just how it's just angled up within 
the little packaging there. I don't know if this one is numbered or anything like that. We'll see on the back. No, this one does not look to be a numbered variation, but let's go ahead and open it. And once I do open it up, we can see it is actually a numbered variation. So 8,914 of 25,000. And this one has all sorts of things on the bottom to take this off of its little display right there. Let's go ahead and pop open this display though. And we can see what's in here. And there we can see the Dodge Power Wagon. So you can see it's got some crazy suspension on there. So you can see how it kind of sits right up there. They've got all the different types of plastic pieces and stuff that are holding this down. You can see how much of an angle it is from that side right there. Just look at that twist in the body. But we're gonna go ahead and take it off of this display so we can get a better look at this car. So let's go ahead and give it our best shot. And there we go, we've gotten it off of the display and I'm curious to know, I just, I don't know if this twists. Oh, it does. Look at that. Wow, that is very, very neat. So we can see the truck, it's got like an axle in the middle right here, which allows it to twist. So it goes onto that display right there. That is super, super neat. I've never seen anything like that before. So we can see you can have it just sit flat nicely, or you can have it angle up onto that rock just like that. So it sits kind of oddly angled for like the suspension moving. That is very, very neat. So super, super cool. Interesting color to this one. There's all your details. You got the winch in the front. We've got like the kind of wooden type bed in there. Real rider wheel and tires, of course. Lots of good detail on the bottom. It's like some sort of gas tank or axler. I'm not really sure exactly what that's supposed to be, but nonetheless, very interesting design and concept for this Hot Wheels RLC. Custom fleet side. And I picked this one up just because I think this color on it is so, so cool. You can see this pinky chrome color. Look at the card. That's such a cool card right there. But let's go ahead and pop open this one. Get a nice look at that paint. And there we have it. Just check out how shiny that is. That is so crazy how shiny that is. Even the base, we got the chrome base on there as well. I did not notice that in package. That is awesome. I have not seen a Hot Wheels with that much chrome on its base. And we can see it's got the, the writing of the Hot Wheels custom fleet side right there, but the paint on this one. Wow, even the front end, look at that the custom front grille on there. It even has working suspension on here. You can see that if we just push those down front and rear, it's got the suspension built right into it. So that's pretty neat. This one amazes me more and more the more I look at it. It's not the most like awesome looking car, but per se it is definitely very, very cool once we've got it opened up. So that's the thing about opening up RLC cars. I feel like you get a better appreciation of the design of them once you've opened them up, but that is super, super neat. Look at the clean lines of the no doors and everything as well. Great looking, love this one, love the color of that one. 2006 BMW M3 in this crazy looking blue. Looks like the same type of blue that we saw on the Lamborghini as well as even uh, the Ford Bronco, I believe as well. So they're coming out with a lot of blue RLC cars, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I think blue looks so, so good. So let's go ahead and pop this one open before. What's the number on that? 24,969 of 30,000. So nothing special. Again, let's go ahead and pop it open. And we take it right out right there for our first look and check the engine detail out on that one. That is so neat that they have all the different colors inside of the engine. And of course, our hood that opens and closes. And I love the hood of this M3, which has the little kidney grill that even connects to the hood and comes up and down as well. So it's not just the hood itself. So that's a neat touch to that one, very unique to that. But when it's closed, looks like a very good, BMW M3, we'll look at the side. The, the wheel tire combination of this, I think is fantastic. Do the doors open on this one? No, they don't. 
just the front hood. Rear end right there, we can see that uh, the quad exhaust tip, the BMW right there. The little itty bitty M3 logo written on the back of it. We got the gray interior on this one. You can see just that shine of that blue right there. Let's go ahead and pop that front hood open again so we can see it from the side, how it's open. We can see the detail on the inside, but if you like the BMW M3s, this one is E46, I think it's a E46 M3, but very, very nice. What do you guys think of this M3? Subaru Impreza WRX, and I believe this one was a uh, Hot Wheels and Best Buy mail-in car, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but still very collectible one, 2022 car. It does specify, let's take it out of here. Come on, get out, there we go. And is this one numbered? Nope, this one is not numbered, so they just come straight just like that. And this is this is our first one that doesn't have a little thing on the back. It's still a special edition car, and probably the least valuable one that we're opening up today, but hey, nonetheless, it's easy to open up. There we go, we do have a little bit extra plastic right here protecting it and we'll take it right out right there and there's our first look at it we got the hot wheels logo on the side with the number six right there we got the orange wheels on that one right there and then there is your rear end the subaru wrx i think it's an sti if i'm not mistaken i think it says sti on there as well but i mean maybe it's not the most special paint compared to the chromish paint on the RLC cars, but still very metallic, very nice. I like that, the pinstriping around that roof line right there. The front end looks good, very classic Subaru. I love, this body style of Subaru is just so good. I mean, the, the mid 2000s Subaru WRXs were just really, really cool. A lot cooler than the ones that they have today. But what do you guys think of this Subaru WRX? 1962 Ford F100. Let's go ahead and pop it open of our packaging right here our Protecto, and what's our number on this one? We've got 9,082 out of 30,000. There to go, 1962 Ford F100. But let's go ahead and take it right out. And there it is, back to our amazing blue and chrome. And we do have that white in here as well. So smooth, that back bed, that is very, very neat. I like that. Look at the Ford riding on the back. That looks so good. We got the license plate there. Big fat rear wheel tire combination. We got the chrome base on there as well. Gotta love that chrome base. That white that kind of meshes in just looks really, really nice. And there's our highlight for this one. Check out the engine and even above right here, above on the engine right here on the top of the hood part right here, you can see how it kind of reflects the engine. That is very, very good touch to it. I like that. And then we can see that front end nice detail on the grill. Let's go ahead and close that hood so we can get a nice good profile look of this Ford F100. It does say genuine Ford parts on the side of it right there. The low rider look. This one was quite expensive. A lot of collectors really, really wanting this one. I paid big bucks for this one for this video, but you know what? Not disappointing at all now that I've opened it up. I love, love the detail of it. I love the look of it, the weight of it, everything just so, so good on this Ford F100. And there is every single car that we unboxed today, guys. This was a very expensive video to do, so if you can, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below your favorite car that I opened up. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.